We've been getting local analysis about this news all day, including from medical experts and a political science professor. Two on your side's Kelly Dudzik joins us live now with what the president's diagnosis means for his political campaign with Election Day. Kelly, only about a month away. Yeah, Mary Alice, NBC reports this evening that the president does have a low grade fever. So the White House announced this afternoon that his campaign events where he was scheduled to appear in person, they're all going to be virtual for now or postponed. Now, today I talked with Peter Yakabuchi. He's a political science professor at Buff State. He wasn't surprised about this news based on the fact that the president has been seen not wearing a mask at so many campaign events. He said everything moving forward with the campaign now depends on how the president's feeling. If he can get over that quickly, as, as many people that get the virus do, then the debate probably will go off as it normally has. It's, however, this does affect the president's ability to campaign. Um, as I stated before, he has resumed his campaign schedule. He's been holding his rallies. And it, those certainly are off the table, at least for the next seven days to 10 days. Um, whether he'd be able to resume those you know, come mid-October, we'll have to see. The other thing is if he cannot go out, and one of the things that the president always does when he does these campaign swings is he always has uh, private fundraisers that raise millions of dollars for his campaign. His campaign is badly being outspent by uh, Joe Biden's campaign right now. Joe Biden has raised an incredible amount of money in the last two months, and uh, President Trump simply has it. New tonight at 6, we'll talk about what happens if the president is too sick to do his job. And I'll be back for today's virtual town hall at 530 with more political analysis and some new poll numbers out today for New York. Mary Alice. All right, Kelly, we'll look forward to that. Thank you.